what's up this is epic gamer here in the zone and today i am going to teach you how to master genji from overwatch this is all coming from a genji main so hopefully i know what i'm doing i've been playing overwatch for a good amount of hours so i should have some experience your friends may say genji is impossible to master but nope if you can comprehend this then it should be pretty easy so we're just gonna dive straight into this we're gonna go into numero uno, but first I wanna say stay tuned to the end of the video so we can give some fun facts about Genji. Alright, first up his first ability is something I like to call slashy dashy, because practically you just wreck your foes by slicing right through them. This next ability I like to call reflecty recty, because you just wreck them when you reflect their bullets right back at them. Genji can also double jump, wall climb, and do so much more. And his ultimate is very unique because he can use all his abilities while in his ult form. And his ult is just a sword that only takes a couple hits to kill someone. And it's easy to get that diva out of the mech. And it only lasts for a little bit of time, so use it up as much as you can. And the cute spray is really difficult to get. So, yeah, let's go to Moonbarrow. That's fresh. I like to play Genji in the highest sensitivity because anything below, I'd say halfway, is practically torture. Literally, you will be like a grandma walking through the streets but with no one to help you. Alright, I also have to give a fair warning about Genji. The only thing he does is he doesn't do enough damage with the shurikens and beware, he can't heal him. Genji can be countered by a lot of people, such as May, Winston, Symmetra, Reaper, basically anyone who can do non-projectile damage. I know Reaper can do projectile damage, but yeah. I also guys want you to notice how I always try to deflect a little bit early so when they start shooting they're practically wrecked. Um, but yeah, you can see what I like to do with May. If I'm with the Sombra, I reflect, if I'm with the May, <laughs> I need to dash out of there, otherwise you're practically screwed. Uh, Genji can also counter Widowmaker, and he can also do a lot of countering, okay? You might think that he gets countered a good amount, but no, he can actually counter a lot of people, anyone with rapid damage, like if you saw me against that soldier, I could deflect his missiles right back at his face, knock knock, I'm at the door, and yeah. <laughs> so, Genji definitely can counter more people than he can be countered. He's also a good way to get rid of Bastions. Genji is best off in groups. I've learned that the hard way. So maybe saying group up isn't such a bad idea, especially if you're watching this video and you just want to get good at Genji. Then you're going to want to stick with friends or get them to help you at least because Genji can go in the front of a group to deflect all the ammo or you can go in the back to do that little bit of extra damage. Unless you're starting to feel like a bot. <laughs> Emoted during that. Yeah, because I, I felt like a boss. Alright, in conclusion, Genji is this awesome. Okay, why am I trying to ask? Okay, Genji is this awesome guy who can deflect, slice through your enemies, and do much more with the shurikens, double jumping, wall climbing, and his epic alt. I'm epic, I'm a little epic game, so that's why me and Genji match. But yeah, only use Genji if you're trying to counter or attack. Defensive isn't much of a good idea. I mean, I still use him in defense, so you can do it, but it's easier, he's easier on attack. So if you want to practice him, do it on attack or against AI. But yeah, let's put that aside. All right. That's it for this video, but because I promised you guys some fun facts about Genji, I'm just gonna spill them out, okay? So first up, Genji is a Japanese awesome ninja cyborg guy. 
Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a cyborg. And he is 35. If you did not know his age, you can look up the age chart. Everybody has an age except for Soldier and Reaper. So, yeah, he is 35 years old. Relatively young for this guy. I thought he'd be pretty old. Next up, Genji and Hanzo used to be the same character. Until Blizzard realized that, you know, it was way too OP and they had to separate the two, sadly. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess it was for a balance change. Yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, there's your facts, there's the video, hopefully you learned something and got better at Genji. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I truly do appreciate it. And I, the little upper gamer, will see you in the next video. Hopefully the next video you watch. Bye guys! Yeah, you go, Baki, go take you, go right!